Hey, throw me that guitar. Thanks. What's up everybody, I'm Brett from Summit Guitar School and today I'm teaching a beginner slash intermediate version of Van Halen's You Really Got Me. So if you're looking for the lead lines and all the little licks, you need to find another video, all right? That's my precursor for this lesson, all right? I'm teaching this to the beginners and intermediates that want to be able to play a Van Halen song without having to like sweat bullets trying to figure out all the lead stuff. So this is just to kind of solidify your rhythm guitar playing and to have fun playing a cool old Van Halen song. All right, so uh, with that said, um, I'm gonna keep it really simple. And the song itself is usually tuned down a half a step, okay? So to play with the recording, you have to tune down a half a step. I do have a, a lesson on my channel that tells you how to do that. But today, to keep it extra beginner intermediate, I'm just gonna play it in standard tuning, and that's how we'll learn it. If you find this stuff to be really difficult and really hard, Check out my Beginner Guitar Essentials course. The link is in the description below. Um, there's also a free strumming pattern course. It's like the essential strumming patterns you need to know to be able to strum through all your favorite songs. Uh, do me a favor, if you like this video and you learned something, consider subscribing. I really appreciate that. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook. And uh, I'll see you in the lesson. Let's do this. <laughs> So let's break this down. Keep in mind, uh, like I said in the intro, this is the beginner guitar version of this. So if you're looking for the breakdown of the solos and all the licks in between, this video is not what you want and hit next. All right, so this is for uh, beginners that are trying to play some Van Halen, have a good time doing it, and not have to be bogged down with having to learn um, insanely hard riffs and stuff like that. So this is just for those trying to have fun playing this stuff. All right, so check it out. Really simple one finger power chord for this intro and uh, verse. So all you're doing here is you're doing a one finger A power chord. And you're strumming the fifth and the fourth string, all right? That's second fret, fourth string for your one finger power chord. And you're going and then you reach with your middle finger to the third fret, sixth string. Play a single note. And then you're back to the uh, one finger power chord. So it's like, all right? That's the first bit. So, all right, so, and then you're going, you have to do an and of four. That's the only thing tricky about like some of these parts here is you got to go one and two and three, four and, and there's your third fret six string, all right, and then just like that. So it's three, four, and three, four. I'll give like an extra like vibrato y third fret here. So it's like three, four, and one, and two, and three, four. And I'm also stopping after I play that second, um, that third power chord of bass. So it's and I stop the note. So stop, three, stop, four, and one, and two, and stop. All right, so what I'm doing is. I'm just, when I'm muting that, I'm putting my hand right here. So it's one and two and three, four, and one and two and three, four, just like that. All right, so that's the A section or the verse, first bit of the verse. When it gets into the pre chorus, it goes over here, all right, and you go to um, a B two finger power chord, chord sorry. So it's going to go like this, second fret, fifth string, third finger, fourth fret, fourth string, and you go. And this is cool because the way we're going to learn it is we're going to play two Bs, and then we're going to lift up our index, play the fifth string open, and then we're going to put our index back down. We can keep our third finger down that whole time to kind of keep it simple, all right? So it's like... Same rhythm structure, so it's one and two and three, four... 
four, just like that. So it's one and two, stop, three, four, and one and two, and three, four, and one and two, and three, four, and one and two, and three, four. So you do that four times, all right? So you go one and two, and three, four, and one and two, and three, four, and one and two, and three, four. Here's the fourth time. On the fourth time, it shifts. And one and two, and three, four, four. And on beat four, you go up to the D5 power chord. All right, so that fourth time through, it's and one and two, and three, four. Sorry, four, right there, so. And that's the fifth fret, fifth string, seventh fret, fourth string, all right? Just like that. All right, so again, that fourth time through, one, two, and three, four, and then you keep that same shape, and you go up to an E5 power chord, and you go seven and nine, fifth and fourth string, and you go one and two, and, and now you gotta shift back and forth from the E5 power chord and the D power chord, all right? So you're going, one and two and three, four and one and two and three, four and one and two and three, four and, all right, so that's kind of how it's going. The rhythm structure is the same throughout. All we're doing is changing our chords, all right? So you're going one and two and three, four and one and two and three, four and one and two and three, four and so you do that a total of three, four, five, six times, all right? So it's after you do the fourth B power chord, up to the D5, and then six times on one and two and three, four and one and two and three, four. There's the third. Here's the fourth. Here's the fifth. Here's the sixth. And I'm stopping at the end of those. I forgot to mention that. I forgot. So it's the same thing where we're kind of muting at the end of that. And after the fourth time, you rest, and then it's three, four, and then back to the D5 power chord. All right? And then you can do a pick scrape if you want. He does like a... And that's kind of just noise unless your amp's at the right volume. You know what I mean? On acoustic, it feels a little weird if you're doing it like that, but... On electric with the right gain structure, it should sound cool. Um, so I'll do that section again. So you're going one and two and three, four and one and two. And you're doing that six times. On the sixth time, you go one and two and three, four, one, two on the D5. And then on that, so that's a whole measure of there. One, two, three, four, one, two. And when he does there, it's like a pick scrape sounds crazy when you do it slow like that but a pick scrape and then he grabbed he just I don't even pay attention to what note I'm grabbing with my middle finger you can do your index too and he slides it down back into the a section which was so it's like one two three four one two three four one two pick scrape. just like that all right it's kind of fun to do that especially as a beginner might feel weird because you're going like this and reaching under you're going you're pick scraping and then reaching under it and coming back it's very van halen it's a little bit of a weird move but you should be able to do it it's kind of a fun little thing then you've got the guitar solo section and what happens there is we're going to play the rhythm guitar part all right so that's back to the a section type of feel so it's you do this three times and then you go C, D, and what happens there is you do the main riff three times from the A section, and then you do C5, which is third fret, fifth string, fifth fret, fourth string. All right, it's a two finger power chord for a half note, and then up to D, which we already learned for a half note. So it's one and two and three, four, and one, two and three, four, and three, and three, and then you go C, D, and you repeat. This is all the guitar solo section. And then you go F to G. F, G. We haven't played either of those two yet. So that's your first finger on the first fret, sixth string. Third finger on the fifth string, third fret. Can't talk. And then you go up to the third fret, sixth string, fifth fret, fifth string. All right? 
All right, so that's the guitar solo section. I'm going to play through it again. So you go. I go C to D. Back to. And then F to G. And literally, that's it. And he goes bass only back to the A section where all David Lee Roth screeches and howls and who knows what kind of weird things he's got going on there and you rest literally forever and then uh finally the drums and everything kicks back in and you go back to the b section with the b5 power chord and you play all that stuff again just do it three this time there's three and then it goes one, two, just like that and that's the ending so that last time you do the section uh, where you go you do that four times up to the D and then three times here that's two that's three and then it's one two three four Alright, and that's just the E5 power chord. You can even do it here with the one finger on the second fret fifth string and you go. That's moving that bouncy string there. And that's literally how you play that song. So I hope it's a fun thing for you guys to play as beginners. And uh, let me know if I can kind of break down any other Van Halen songs that might work for beginners as well. Um, or just any songs that you're like having trouble with learning as a beginner that you think uh, we can maybe simplify so you can have some fun and build those skills till you get to your ready to play those guitar solos. That's it, guys.